Hi everybody, Karen Roby here at CES 2020 talking to Shane uh, Reamer with D-Link. And Shane, uh, we're here, this is uh, the first night before everything starts tomorrow for CES. So uh, lots of exciting things going on here. And we're talking to you guys specifically about the future of Wi-Fi 6. Faster, we're all looking for that, making things better for us. Tell us about the device. Yeah, so Wi-Fi 6 is gonna be more efficient. You're gonna get more throughput. Uh, one of the ways that Wi-Fi 6 is going to be more efficient is that it includes technologies such as OFBMA mm -hmm. and BSS coloring, which will help kind of feed through all that traffic you have in your home. Right now, if you live in an apartment complex or an area with 20, 30 different Wi-Fi routers, right. there's all those different Wi-Fi signals going around, and they all kind of get mixed up. And your router's trying to figure out which one's yours. So one of the technologies that Wi-Fi 6 has is BSS coloring. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, it colors each of the packets, so it might turn one green or blue or red, and then it can filter that out and determine which packet makes the most sense for the router and ignore all the other packets. Uh, the other big benefit is that it has a lot more throughput. Mm -hmm. So one of this router right here actually has it for 5,400 megabits per second. Uh, you can flip it up between four different bands. So you're able to carry a lot more data on individual bands. Where do you see it making the biggest difference? I know you mentioned apartment complexes and, and just when you've got, let's say for instance a cafe, people go into a cafe to, to, you know, to do their work while they're sipping on coffee. I mean, it will make a big difference in situations like that, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. So if you have a lot of smart home devices at home, uh, what happens is you get a lot of these devices that are waiting in line, almost like this long queue. So with something that can handle with faster speeds and get that data process quicker, you can actually feed through those and, and go through those devices a lot faster than some of your current systems. All right, very good. And uh, Shane, I know you guys are here, of course, every year at CES uh, 2020. What are you looking forward to to seeing? Anything that's exciting on the on the horizon? That's a really good question. I put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I love anything that's AI driven. I think that's where a lot of stuff's going. We have AI in some of our products as well. So if there's something that's really cool on the AI side. I'm going to all for it. And so are we. That's a good thing. All right. Uh, much more to come here from CES 2020 on Tech Republic and ZDNet.